It's like detective work. It's the most baffling unsolved crime in FBI history. What is he saying with his number system? In 1971, a man skyjacked an airplane for ransom and vanished into the night sky. And we have a match. Unsolved until now. I got two bronze stars. Sergeant Rick Sherwood triangulated targets. You were a code breaker. Yes. Trying to eradicate the enemy in Vietnam. November 29th, 1969. The worst day of my life. The 19-year-old Hoosier had just given four comrades in their UH-1 helicopter their target. So I, I called them, and I got no answer. And they said, Jaguar Yellow was down. Three tours in, he got out, about as far away from Fook Vin as he could. Wheatfield, Indiana. I never in my wildest dream would have ever thought that I would ever use any kind of code breaking or anything again until until tom colbert tom colbert a los angeles producer he was uh investigating the db cooper skyjacking happened 71. it began with a seizure of this northwest Airlines 727 and he said uh i i think i know who did this description on one wire service master criminal he goes Robert Rackstraw, he was one of your pilots. Robert Rackstraw, a retired pilot in California, has been questioned before in this documentary. If you're D.B. Cooper, the world would want to know your story. I would. So would the FBI and the secret indictment. Tom Secret, you got T, which is 20. Codebreaker Sherwood was asked to crack long suspected ciphers after D.B. Cooper extorted 200 grand in 20s, parachuted from the plane into infamy, he then taunted authorities in post-hijacking letters. When some guy said he's got a D.B. Cooper suspect, you think what? Everybody's got a suspect. They're still looking for Elvis. Retired FBI agent and behavioral analyst, now Professor Jack Schaefer, was enlisted to create a character sketch for Colbert's independent cold case team. Now? Well, I think certainly there's a strong circumstantial case now, especially the link between the decoded messages and Rackshaw, because that fits his personality. In your assessment, could Robert Rackstraw be D.B. Cooper? There's a strong possibility that he is. Rackstraw had the training and left the military just months before D.B. Cooper hijacked the Boeing 727. I'm thinking, I'm going to look at the military stuff. So I wrote down everything about the military that Rackstraw was involved in. Vietnam, top secret, 371st, their unit. 11th GS, their company, using the alphabet code where each letter gets a numerical value. A is one, B is two, and so on. This was what was used on letter five, which broke everything open. In Cooper's letter number five, Sherwood noted at the bottom, the seven CCs on top, added up 21. He deciphered that to be ASA, Army Security Agency, their intelligence branch. He'd find 371st, 11th GS. Where our choppers flew out of in Vietnam. And then there's letter number six. Sherwood noted Cooper's, and please tell the lackey cops D.B. Cooper is not my real name. Then he used the terminology of lackey. I said, there's something here. I said, that could be his name. And please tell the lackey cops equals 269. Sherwood <laughs> racked his mind for an equivalent. I'm Lieutenant Robert W. Rackstraw also equals 269. Game, set, match. Rackstraw's D.B. Cooper. Yeah. You sure? I'm sure.